Imagine in the future if genetic engineering were like toys for our kids. That'd be pretty cool. But it'd be even more cool if genetic engineering was just a toy and legalized in the future along with other things. So when we're all walking around with nanobots in us and computers and everything and everything all connected and on the camera and shit, we also are allowed to make our own custom pets. So you can have a half dog, half cat. You can have a half hamster, half rat. You can have a half crocodile, half squirrel. But most importantly, you could have some really badass stuff like raptor chicken. Oh, you know the kids are gonna love genetically engineering. Genetically engineer it so your ears have an on-off switch. So when you're at school, listen to your teacher spit bullshit out of his mouth at 50 miles an hour. You can just go click. What if we make some really cool things in the future? Like what if we find a way to make it so cats never have to age? So we have permanent kittens. Then what if we find a way to make those permanent kittens into biofuel? So you go to the gas station, and the, it's making some noise, there's a few meows coming from inside, and then you stick it in your gas tank, and you press the button, and you hear this grinding noise, followed by all the meows stopping, but you get a nice full tank of cheap, affordable gas. What if we just made a creature, like just took all these cool parts from like bears, armadillos, crocodiles, flying squirrels, mea cats, and fucking throw a warthog in there and just mix something up all together, scorpion, and mixed all these things in there just to make this chimera creature of death. And then with it, have it legally be made just to fight. So then we can have like UFC for like fucked up genetically made creatures just made to fight. Obviously there might be some bad stuff happening about this too. You might hear something about little Jimmy mixed his grandma with an octopus and now she's this screaming horrifying monster on the ground crying, kill me, kill me, we're all gonna die, kill me. And you may have to be killed with a shotgun and put out of its misery. So thankfully, let's hope there's some good instruction movements. Though I'd be against the idea, we could also start making super soldiers. However, I would rather, instead of making super soldiers, make super crops or super animals. So we can have super steaks, and super pie made of super pumpkins. Super pumpkin pie. Admit it, you'd want super pumpkin pie. We could genetically hard engineer and bring back so many animals from the grave. We just have to find a bit of their DNA and clone them. Think about all the things we could bring back from extinction. And barbecue. Good eating, dude. Imagine if we had the option to genetically engineer our children. To make it so when our son or daughter is born, they will live longer. They will be stronger, be smarter, be more fertile. They will be more intelligent, quicker thinking. Imagine if you could actually go into the DNA of your kid when it's still growing in your wife and bloody change her around just to make the kid's life so much easier. Improve upon him before he's already born. Imagine now a couple generations of doing this. How it would change the human race. Imagine if we could actually start perfecting ourselves. So if we were doing this, while putting microchips in us, while exchanging some of our body parts for better parts made by us, machines, replacing certain organs with machines, certain body parts with machines, imagine that transition, and imagine the improvement. You could engineer a hedgehog and an armadillo. You'd have this spiky ball creature. If your pet ever pissed you off, or someone pissed you off making fun of your pet, you could roll them up and throw them at someone. It'd be the most awesome pet slash weapon. People could also probably genetically engineer or fix it up so people wouldn't have orgasms. Maybe we just have sex a completely different way in the future. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Fucking raptor chicken, man! Pigs see you as equals! Dogs look up at you! Cats look down at you! Fucking raptor chicken doesn't give a fuck about you! Raptor chicken would still be the most awesome thing from all this. You wouldn't have to feed raptor chicken. You'd go to feed raptor chicken and already would have a dead neighbor's cat in its beak. You wouldn't have to walk raptor chicken either. You try to walk raptor chicken and raptor chicken would already be halfway across the country. How you find out it's halfway across the country is freaking unknown to me. Maybe raptor chicken's pretty damn smart. Maybe send a telegraph. 
Or maybe that thing where, you know, the guy comes with a little piece of paper and he starts singing it to you. Rob the chickens halfway across the country. Woo! Oh, and fuck cockfights, man. Raptor cockfights. <laughs> Raptor cock. <laughs> Fine. If you think a bloody guard dog would protect you, Raptor chicken would protect you, man. Burglar comes in your house, dog looks at it, bark, bark, bites leg, pulls him down, bites his neck, over. Burglar comes in your house, Raptor chicken there. Burglar is tackled by the down by the throat by Raptor Chicken, firing like a missile from the floor. The guy is down, blood is sprayed everywhere. You leave that Raptor Chicken motherfucking alone because he is enjoying a good damn meal. Imagine if we found Neanderthal DNA and we genetically engineered and brought back freaking Neanderthals. So we had really stupid, dumbed down versions of us, somewhat related to us, 200 more pounds of muscle walking around. These would make good slaves, or even better, we could put them in UFC! You know, another downside of the whole everyone being a super-powered, genetically engineered human in the future with all this shit running through them nanobots, microchips, and the works, it's gonna be very hard to feel unique when everyone else is a superhero. People are, might be doing weird shit to themselves, like giving themselves leopard eyes, or a helicopter dick. If you could genetically engineer yourself, what would you do? Have a good one. <laughs>